Well, if we have lift in the direction of rotation, then it must mean that we have torque in that direction. Let's find out what the torque is. So up here, click on calculator, then select function calculator, change the function to torque, for the location blade is correct, and the orientation should be about the z-axis, and then press calculate. Okay, so we're getting a negative torque, which is what we expect because it tells us that the torque is pointing in the same direction as the blade rotation. If you want, you can use the right-hand rule to prove this to yourself. One very important thing to note about this value is that it's the torque acting from the fluid on one blade only, not three. In the verification and validation section, we will compare this torque value to hand calculations to verify if it makes sense. So this was the method of finding torque using CFD post. I will now show you how to find torque directly in Fluent. And you'll see that we can actually get more information on this torque in Fluent. So we're going to go back in Fluent right now. So now we're going to click on reports and then we're going to choose forces, click setup and now we're going to click on moments. The moment center is going to be 0, 0, 0 and we want this moment to be about the z-axis so input 1 right here, 0 here and then click print. Surprise, we're getting the same torque value. However, Fluent also tells you how much of this torque comes from pressure difference and how much of it comes from viscous forces. Note how viscous forces create a positive torque and therefore goes head to head with the torque coming from the pressure difference. Finally, let's save our project.